welcome all you arithmetic ninjas to question number 17. And the first thing I notice here is he's got fractions. We're adding some fractions and they are different denominators. Now you need a common denominator if the denominators are different. So look at the two denominators, 7 and 21. Is there an easy way of making one of those numbers into the other one? Yes, there is. We could triple the 7. Okay, so we, what we're going to do is we're going to keep the 321 as it is, but, we, but we're going to multiply both the 5 and the 7 by 3. Okay, so if you multiply the 7 by 3, you're going to get 21, and then your denominators will both be 21. But whatever you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. So 5 times 3 is 15. So we are dealing with 15 21 plus 3 21. Now 15 apples plus 3 apples is 18 apples. 15 oranges plus 3 oranges is 18 oranges. 15 helicopters plus 3 helicopters is 18 helicopters. So 15 21 plus 3 21 is 18 21. Because the common denominator is 21, then that's like our unit, like apples and oranges and helicopters. The unit is 20 once, then your answer is also in 20 once, which is why 21 doesn't change. Final answer, 18 20 once. Now you could go a stage further and realise that both of these are in the three times table. So if you simplify these, 18 divided by 3 is 6, and 21 divided by 3 is 7, so that's 6 sevenths. Okay, but you don't actually need to simplify that in the SATs. That's something you would expect to, to be able to be done in year 7. Either of those two answers are acceptable, 18 21 or 6 7 You could have actually simplified this 3 21 first. Both of those are in the 3 times table, so divide by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 21 divided by 3 is 7. So you're basically dealing with 5 sevenths and 1 seventh, which is the same as the 6 sevenths here. Either way, you get your mark.